it's Aelinas. So I'm gonna be planting my seeds now. So they're very soft now, you can see. There you go. So they're easy to work out once you put the you see this one? This is what I'm talking about. This is avocado chick kitchen scrap. So so basically that's what I have underneath this dirt. All of the kitchen scraps. Alright, so the first one that I'm going to put in here is cabbage. Let me find my cabbage. So cabbage is supposed to be like 10 to 15 days to germinate and about 65 days for harvest. So that's going to be September, October, hmm, yeah, probably around November. Alright, so. So this cabbage, <laughs> I bought it from Dollar Store. Uh, it's only for a four dollar. So I will plant that one. So it's just a handful of seeds. So basically I'm just gonna put it right here. You see how it's, I sprinkled it? I have ants on my uh, on my dirt. I guess it's all those sweets cantaloupes and watermelons so i'm gonna put at least two package in here it's not much see definitely next year i'm gonna have seeds for cabbage all right so now i'm gonna put the stick in here this is my <laughs> so that i know what i planted so you see that one i put on the ziploc Ziploc bags because I could not find my sticks, <laughs> the sticks that I bought, I could not find it. So I kind of use, uh, this is for barbecue, barbecue sticks. So I put on my Ziploc so that it will not get messed up. Anyway, the same thing with my sticks when I use it, they just disappear and, you know, I put marker on it and they will wipe out or something and they get so old so oh well so this should be good enough so i just you know just for me to know what i'm planting so basically uh you just kind of work out the dirt because you know they they don't need to be buried so deep right there that's it all right so that's for cabbage first so the next one i'm planting is broccoli uh, I bought this at Southern States uh, and he says green calabres. I don't know what does that mean. He says uh, 90 days from transplant. So I guess 90 days you get. Uh, I just bought it. See, this is the date sell by 2022. Wow, this is old or sell by 2022. I just bought them last year. So I guess last year it was 2022. All right, so I'm gonna use this today, this year. So they put a date in there, I didn't even know. All right, so I got this marked down anyway. It was the end of the season last year, so I'm gonna use that this year. I didn't get to plant them uh, springtime. I got so busy. So I'm gonna use this one. Uh, All right, so gonna be, oh, this is gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of broccoli. <laughs> I put a lot in here. Well, the leaves of the broccoli is edible also. So the leaves and the crowns, they're all edibles. I have so much of them. Just because it's used by 12, 20 doesn't mean it's not gonna grow. I guess I'll find out if it's gonna grow. It says sell by. 12 2022 20, doesn't mean it's expired the 12 2022 so all right so as you see how i sprinkled it and it's the same way you just work it out like this so i don't bear with them i just sprinkle in there and then work it up see I didn't put anything at the edge because I want to be able to walk at the edge of it 
all right so that's about it and I have my broccoli stick my sticks mm. that's my broccoli sticks so I got cabbage and broccoli we'll go to the next one just do like this real quick so I don't have to do it anymore so the next one I'm gonna put is broccoli I'm sorry I just finished the broccoli the cauliflower I'm gonna put cauliflower all right it's hot already I don't know if you're seeing my umbrella but I have to use my umbrella now it's hot now uh this one i bought it for 50 cents <laughs> it's a uh, cauliflower snowball x whatever that means but he's she's gonna go over here so cabbage already managed to to have cabbage this year but cauliflower i have not uh, plant cauliflower yet so this is going to be cauliflower first for me so this one supposed to be 65 to 70 days for harvest hmm. the heck's not much no wonder it's 50 cents oh my goodness let me see the dollar tree one i got that from walmart Let's see the Dollar Tree if I have plenty. So this is Dollar Tree. It's way better than, than Walmart mine. We got plenty right here. So, all right. So, I think I'm gonna have one more package. I'm so disappointed with this Walmart brand. And I'm sorry, not Walmart brand, where I bought from Walmart. Golly, it's not even 10 pieces in there. Alright. Yeah, it's way more. Okay. Uh, the reason I plant more, I want to plant more, because you'll never know if some of the seeds is not going to work. So if you're stingy, I'm not stingy when it comes to seeds. I... I gave plenty of seeds to plant. All right, so so you just work it out like that. Oh, there's a tomatoes in here. All right. Okay, dokie. Now, where is the cauliflower sign? Found the sign. Oh. I like this. I like the sign that I made. So these are my sign I put. <laughs> so if it's going to rain, it's not gonna be wet. <laughs> so uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, this time I'm going to do spinach. Put spinach in there. Alright, that's spinach. And let's work some of this dirt. So I kind of put all the way to the end so I know, you know, how far is the spinach, how far is the cauliflower, and so on and so on. Let me get the seeds. Now, I didn't buy this one. My husband bought this. I mean, he got a big whopping because he loves spinach. But he never ate the spinach this year. I got plenty of spinach. The only one who ate is me and my son. Anyway, he... Because he changed his diet. <laughs> so hopefully he'll eat it this year. So... Alright, let's work it out. 
So I'm going to be generous with the spinach because we all eat spinach. I eat spinach like so much. Alright, so I'm so generous with the spinach. And I know spinach takes longer to germinate. So none of this is soaked. So I did not soak them. So it's probably going to take longer to germinate. But I'm going to squish a little bit of water for them before uh, after I finish it. So that's the southern uh, southern seeds. Now this is my my Dollar Tree spinach. Uh, I really don't know what's the difference with those two. I guess I'll find out. All these things look like seeds, so I'll just put some around here to, so I know it's it's all the way to the edge. The Dollar Tree spinach. Well, again, it's not gonna make no difference anyway. Spinach, spinach for me. Because there is on the package it says mustard spinach, so they like combination. So, but this one are wrinkled spinach. They're big though. They're big size. If you let it grow, they're big size. But I get them when they're smaller. And then when you cut it, it keeps coming back. So let's push it all the way to the end right here. Okay. All right, so we're done with the spinach. I got two more rows. So let me see, probably collard greens and, oh, kale. Collard greens and kale. Uh, I don't think I have kale in here, but I know I have collard greens. Let me see if I have the kales out. At least this time is you guys not feeling dizzy because I put my uh, my cell phone down because I'm holding the other one with my umbrella. It's hot. <laughs> I have umbrella. Uh, let me find the uh, collard greens and kale. Okay, it seems I could not find my kale, so I'm just gonna have. Brussels sprouts. So I only have one Brussels sprout. This sucker is a dollar forty-four. Uh, it's pricey because I could not find them in dollar store when I was looking for Brussels sprouts. Or it's either they already gone when I bought it, but I don't think I've seen Brussels sprouts. Anyway, so I'm gonna use up all of this, and hmm, seems it's a lot. It's okay. I could always buy next year. If it doesn't work for dollar 44 you get all of the seeds so uh, pretty good all right I'll put it right here this is a lot good gracious so like I said when it comes to seeds I'm not stingy to, to plant all of them I'm stingy when I buy them <laughs> I tried Dollar Tree first <laughs> before I go some other places. If I could not find anything, you know what? The celery is the worst one. I could not find no celery. I don't even know if I have celery. Uh, anyway, so we're done with the Brussels sprouts. So it's right here. And the last one's collard greens. Collard greens is, I don't have no problem uh, with collard greens. They pretty good. So my husband said collard greens I should have it by November not plant it in November so this time I really plant them early now the bok choy I don't think I want to plant the bok choy right now because I know it's gonna bolt it because it's still hot so maybe I will start inside my house just have have on uh, inside my house because if they bolted they that's it they bolted they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna go back they just gonna keep flowering so yeah I think I'm gonna put that in the pots and put that inside my house oh well my husband just have to deal with it so all right so I'm just gonna have a handful of it right here and sprinkle right here oh gosh that's a lot they're all gonna be kissing each other now we're gonna be kissing at each other, but I have 
I've done, I've done this so many times that I planted this way and I didn't have no problem. Tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, uh, and I did it last year too, so I have no problem with that one. Okay, so collard greens. Here's the sign for my collard greens. There she go. All right, so I'm done with that one. I'm done in this side, so in, uh, the next side is too hot already. I think I'm gonna wait till, till tonight. I'm just gonna leave all my seeds in here. So on the other sides, I have, where am I gonna be planting? Swiss chard, lettuce. Nope, lettuce, I'm not gonna do the lettuce and bok choy. So that leaves me with beets, mustard green. Uh, what else? That's basically in kale. I need to find my kale. So Swiss chard, uh, no lettuce. I'm not gonna do lettuce yet. It's too hot. Uh, yeah, mustard greens. I think mustard greens. Uh, it can handle a little bit of uh, hot weather. So, all right, guys. Here's the seeds that I plant. You see right there, all with the sign and everything with my Ziploc. It's just my man-made sticks. Talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh gosh, this is long, 16 minutes. Oh, I don't think anybody gonna watch it. No will. So it's Helena's. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. Bye-bye.